Good morning, my friends. Happy Wednesday. <clears throat> I think it's going to be another hot day. It's perfect weather for strawberries. That's what I'm going to paint today. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Hi, Amy. Hi, Susie. Good morning. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Pretty good life. I like that name. Good morning, Michael. <clears throat> How's everyone doing? I've been up for a while. I already did a, a small painting, finished that up, and I'm ready to do another one. Hi, Gail. I hope everyone's well. I am knee deep in getting, good morning, Ellen, getting ready for, good morning, Martha. I got my coffee order in this morning. Thanks for the reminder. I had just, I knew I had to do it today. I figured you were going on vacation soon. Hi, Irma. So, good morning, Carolyn. Hi, Barb. I am getting ready for Rittenhouse, which is, I always get so angsty about it. Just, it's the whole city, parking in the city, unloading, setting up in the city. Gets um, a little bit crazy, and my husband's retiring and has graduation that night, so he can't help. But my daughter and her uh, fiancé and my friend Sam and his girlfriend Lily are all going to help me, and Isabel's going to ride down with me. So, it's going to be fun, although it could storm, but... You know, that'll be a new thing for me to experience. Ellen, are you going to come see me? I would love that. Hi, Rebecca. Um, good morning, Strawberry. I can't wait. So I went um, running around yesterday a little bit. I was looking for more peonies, and I think it's so warm that our peonies aren't doing very well. So I didn't, I only found a couple of peonies, but I did go get strawberries at my very, very favorite place. So let me turn this around. Oh, good, Ellen. I'm excited that you're coming to see me. All right. So I went to, it's called Criters. It is the most charming little place to get strawberries. Um, everybody always says they're expensive, but I don't know. The whole experience is wonderful. It's like a little, like, barn shed kind of thing. And it's all painted white. It's really cute inside. with um, their And their strawberries are like beyond amazing so and they're only open that's all they do they sell strawberries for like this week or two and then it closes up and there's nothing going on there again till next strawberry season it's what they do and they do it really really well hi sarah so let me regroup here and think about what i'm doing Craters. Craters, Ellen, is on Book Avenue, like kind of out toward the, between East Pete and the sandwich factory on, on um, Lidditz Pike. It is just so cute. I did take pictures in there yesterday, too. I think I maybe put them in my story. I can't remember if I did or if I didn't. I always take pictures to put in my story. But then when life gets crazy, busy, I forget to do half my stories that I prepare for because they really are in the moment. Hi, Allie. Did you leave for your trip yet? When are you headed to Hawaii? So one color that I did put out here that I don't always have on my palette, but I do like a lot, is this. Um, it's um, transparent red medium. When I'm painting red things, it's nice to have a transparent red underneath there tomorrow Allie that is so excited so I guess you're all packed I can't even imagine packing to go to Hawaii and how long will you be there tell us all about it that is so cool I'm excited to hear how it goes so Allie's teaching and being part of a retreat in Hawaii right do you want to write a little note in here I'd patch it in but I'm always afraid if I do that it'll it won't record my like when people call me, it doesn't... Oh, I should set my phone to do not disturb. Can I do that? Can you still hear me? Let me know if you can hear me or if I have to start over. Can everybody hear me? Yes, good. Thank you, Sherry. Wonderful. Thank you. Hooray. Yeah, I turned on Do Not Disturb. I don't know why I can't remember to do that. Now I'll forget to turn it off for hours. 
Co-hosting a retreat. Okay, so Allie is co-hosting a retreat the 4th to the 8th, but staying until the 13th. Yes, well, you should stay if you're all the way in Hawaii. That is so cool. Is your husband going? Let me think where my darker areas are. And I want to keep this really spontaneous. So I'm going to try and focus on doing that here. I always say that and then it goes on its own journey. That will be amazing. I gotta like get my box in here. My little carton. So I kind of have parameters of where I'm working here. Oops, that gets so big. Oh, okay, there we go. Is that better? Can everybody see? Okay, I didn't realize that happened. I'm sort of paying attention and sort of not. So I'm going to have the rest of these strawberries for breakfast today. And I think strawberry season, it's probably only going to last because we it's, it's been so hot. I know they love heat, but I feel like it's been unusually hot just this week. Good morning, everybody. Oh, okay, Amy, thanks for telling me that. Uh, all women, could you zoom out a little? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I'm going to see if the picture is yes, better. Hi, Allie, says Anita. Okay. Now we're good, right? Everybody can hear me. Everybody can see me. Oh, thank goodness she don't see me. Good morning, Alan. I don't want to get too precious with where things are. As I'm saying that to myself, because I'll start to do that. All right. Um, this, yeah, so I get very nervous for art shows. I'm still not very good at it. So last night I was laying awake thinking about how the tent goes together, like making sure I don't forget anything. And I'm not even leaving till tomorrow, but I'm very good at pre-worrying about everything. As much as I know worrying gets me nowhere, there's no reason to do it. Oh, Allie says, I love when you paint fruits. I love when I paint fruits too. And it is definitely time to be painting strawberries. So this. There's one in here. To kind of look where the brightest reds are also. Um. Okay, your tent looks stunning at the last event you posted. I screenshot. Oh, good, Sherry. Yes, I just have to recreate that again. I did get a new tent and the new pro panels, but I'm not going to have that at Rittenhouse because um, I didn't even have time to get out of the box yet. Ugh. It's just been a busy couple of weeks. All in good time. I'm going to do another show in Lewis, Delaware. Um, I think it's like the second, whatever Saturday it is, the second of July, and then I'm going to do one at Winterthur. Um, and I'm sure by then I will be able to have my new tent and panels. Well, I don't think I need a tent there. I think they actually provide the tent. Well, I'm sure they do, which I love that idea of not having to set up the tent. 
There are ladies that go and do these art shows and do it all on their own, set up their own tent, but they're like pros at it. You know, I am so not a pro at doing any of it. So I try not to be too hard on myself because I know I'm not a pro. They've been doing it for a long time. Good morning, Mary Eileen. And setting up same day and then doing the show, that's way too much for me. I think I'm not going to do those next year because that's exhausting to set your whole tent up and then be ready to be social and visit with everybody when you feel like gross and tired. Because <laughs> I get tired quick. I don't sleep much, maybe why. Ciao, Bella. Mary Eileen. All right. <clears throat> brush has got I had purple and red on there sometimes it's hard to like get my brush back to sort of kind of clean after that this will be a fun one to mix up colors for too I need it to be darker here it's like a shadow and here is a shadow Um, I feel like my paint's getting a little too wet here. I think that's a good bit for the box there. Now I need to put a color for the shadow and a color in the background, and then I can go with my pigment sticks. Um, that shadow is... I want to keep my shadow light enough. Sometimes I feel like my shadows get too dark. Be conscious of how dark that gets. So I did take pictures of the strawberries at the strawberry farm, but then I also came home and set this up on my front porch with the sun shining on it, and that's what I'm using. <clears throat> so where's everybody from? I love knowing that. I turn away for a minute and your strawberries. <laughs> Thanks, Carolyn. I hope you're getting more coffee. I got my fat cow coffee order in. My friend Martha wrote to me and said she's gone on vacation. I need to get my order in because she'll be away next week. Like, that's the best way to get coffee is when your coffee person lets you know. You got to get your order in because you're just about out. How did she know that? Kingston MC. What's MC? Good morning, Christina. Tennessee, Ontario, Michigan. Chicago, but joining you from Belize. That's so fun. It sounds exotic. Indiana, I've already had two cups of coffee. Good, Karen. I'm going to have a sip of mine right now. I feel like my background might be a little too dominant to get it as white as I want, so I'm going to wipe it a little bit. North Carolina. I have this taped on there, so it's wiggling a little bit. Ah, I think that's good. Virginia. Virginia. Ellen's in Virginia. Very early in Seattle. Gabby, what time is it? Three hours earlier there? Queens, New York, having cold brew coffee. And next week, this time, you'll be in Hawaii. <laughs> Thanks, Irma. Oh, well, in the lovely, messy middle, right? That's where I'm at. Let me, I'm wiping off my, my palette, and I'm going to get my pigment sticks out. <clears throat> 
at 5 a.m. I love that you get up and do this at 5 a.m. I could do that. I was awake at 5 a.m. for sure. Wish I wasn't. I just cannot sleep. And I shouldn't say it out loud because I think it makes it worse. But. A little messy in here because I want this to feel spontaneous. I want to put some fun colors in that aren't necessarily even there. The pigment sticks. Whoops. Oh, I just got. Um, and pigment stick all over my phone. Kim. Little bits of that gold to show. All right, the gold, the red. Or should I put a little bit of blue in there? <clears throat> Bits of blue, I need the green. How do you store your pigment sticks? I have a love hate. Oh, well, I just have a hate. Here, my, here they are in this little bin. The ones I don't use very often are in a big drawer. And I bought these bins before I did my workshop in, in Connecticut. I got them at um, Target. And I just have them in there. Because I don't want to spend the time getting them out of the sleeves every time I use them. I mean, that's kind of the laziness in me. I hate to admit it, but be true because everything that takes more time away from my painting like unwrapping little pigment sticks I try to simplify it <clears throat> okay. yes they are they are a mess they're magical but they are definitely a mess Color in there, yay! All right, I need a little bit of need some lightness. <clears throat> All right. And one more. I got a few of those bins at Target. Oh, are they warped? I don't think mine are warped, but they could be. I think that's a good start. I don't think mine are warped because then they fit in these larger bins. Of course, I buy the bins and don't use anything with them. See, I have it in, in here. So they're tucked inside of other bins. Um, <clears throat> oh, I love that teal green too. That is, um, I think that's called malachite green, but I can't tell you for short because I have no words on there, but I think it's malachite green. Does anybody else know? Oh, here, I probably have one. <clears throat> I do have a larger one. Here we go. That's this color. I love this color. I didn't know speakers. <clears throat> Whoops. I have a lot of uh, pain on my own case. Okay. A little crooked. Oh, now we have, to, we have to mix colors anyway. So let me move my medium out of the way <clears throat> and pull this down. 
Yeah, look how simple that is. That's just piles of color. Now we're gonna go down here. Oh my. This isn't squeaky, but it's still <laughs> a little unprofessional. Or a lot. <clears throat> All right, so move this out of the way. And have a sip of my coffee. So I really need reds, greens, teals, a shadow, and a background color. I have all these dirty brushes already. <clears throat> Doesn't bode well for a peaceful day, does it? I'm going to have to wash them all. Cleaning off my palette knife. I hate that you can see this. Oh my gosh, Anita, that's so fun. Now let me have a sip of my coffee. All right, I think I'll start with my shadow. Mix a dark, but it is a little bit purple. I think that's quite fabulous right there. Yes, yeah, strawberry season and peony season. We get to have a whole summer of enjoying all the seasons. I also love tomato season and corn season. That's not until August around here. I mean, you can get them now, but they're not quite as good. Love that. Okay, then I need a lot of kind of a white for the background. And then mix red, steels, and greens. Nice chunk of white. Put a little bit of this in there. It feels a little thick, so I am going to use a tiny little bit of liquid. I've been trying to play around with liquid more because it helps <clears throat> paintings dry more quickly. And whoops, I didn't mean to put that much out. <clears throat> and I have trouble with getting my paintings to dry. So that's a good way to make white not quite as thick. I find that my white paint gets super thick. Rembrandt. Oh, yes. Thank you, Ellen. All right, red. Um, so I need a deep red. I'm going to use some magenta <clears throat> and mix in. I also put, I love this color for a bright red. I put out this um, vermilion extra. It might be a little orange. We'll see how it looks. And a little bit of more magenta, make it even darker up here. I like to mix like three or four values of the, each of the colors that I need. And try and keep it pretty simple. Yes, Vasari White is heavenly. And I also like, I can't find it right now, but this Rubelev has a nice white also. This is the gel that they have, but I, I don't know where I put it. You know, I always try to simplify things and not have so many piles of like the same color or whatever, but then I can't find anything. So I still end up with piles and piles. <laughs> so that's terrible. The same colors because I can't, I'll lose them. So reds to kind of an orange. That's a nice red. Oh, Sherry, it's called liquid. This helps it dry more quickly. I bring my paintings up from the basement to dry on my mantle. The airflow must be better. Oh, that probably would help. That's a good idea. <laughs> I try. No, I'm not mm, kind of not allowed to do that at my house because I already have too much paint all over the mantle. Like, and I mean all over the mantle. <clears throat> I'm going to put, I love the cinnabar green light. I'm going to put a little bit of this out instead of mixing a light green. It's just that perfect light green for strawberries. <clears throat> Ellie said, I started to use M. Graham right with safflower. It's very creamy. Oh, well, I'll have to try that. <clears throat> I have not gotten that M. Graham. A little lighter. <clears throat> I 
So yeah, I'll be in Philadelphia all weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I think it's 11 to 6, Friday and Saturday, and um, 11 to 5 on Sunday. Irma says, I often used alizarin crimson, but never knew that alizarin existed. It's a beautiful color. Yes, it is a beautiful color. Yeah, I think I'll be okay with these colors, but we'll see. I can always modify them a little. <laughs> Thanks, Carolyn. I think it will be fun. Once I'm set up, I will be happy. It's that getting ready part of it that's always overwhelming to me. But I have a good team helping me. The best. All right, so that could go a little more blue, I think. Oh, no, a little too blue. This color, yeah, I just messed that up. Although I don't mind this for the darker areas of the um, All right, let me try that a little more. And usually if your colors on your palette look good together, they're going to look good together on your painting. I think that's good. Summer break begins next week, so looking forward to painting every day. Oh, that's wonderful, Susie. Oh, I need a summer break. That sounds like fun. All right, I'm going to pull this back up here and see if I can get it situated since I moved. Is that good? Can everybody see? Look at this straight. Smoochie and Moo, I love that name. It's over a little. Let me move it over just a teeny little bit. Oh, and if anybody wanted to be in my inspiring art group, that's open for a moment too. You can find all that stuff in my little link in my bio here on Instagram or on my on my website. And let me know if you want to be in my on my newsletter list. I would be happy to add you, so just um, send me a DM if you'd like that. Ellen, he retires on Friday. So I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Friday's the big day. So graduation is on Thursday, so he won't be at Rittenhouse with me until Friday. Oops, bumping you. Yes, Lisa, yep. My panel is taped on to my easel because when it's down low, it's got this ledge and I can never get to the bottom correctly. So I always tape it, tape my flat panels on. Looking for my darkest areas. Like where am I? Now there's a highlight there, but I'll get that later. I don't want to forget. Let me work on my shadow. If I just get that bit of background in there too that'll help pull it together already oh what kind of tape Irma I use um a, well for, to tape this on here I just use like 3m tape let me see what it is but um, my favorite tape is called artist tape from Jerry's that's the one I use for but to tape it on I just use this scotch tape but my favorite tape is this artist tape from Jerry's art -Rom. It's called Artist Tape Pro. And that's the tape that I put like around a painting. It's like the perfect stickiness because you can do a painting and then peel it off. Barb says, first day of my retirement and I get to watch you without interruption. Oh, Barb, congratulations on your retirement. That's so fun. What? That is like the best accomplishment. Like when you start working, 
You can't even imagine ever being able to retire. Oh, Isabel's texting me. I put my phone on do not disturb, but not my iPad. Yes, that's exciting, Barb. And she's going to help her son, Michael, out a couple days a week. Isn't that what you told me, Barb? I'm sure you'll be a great assistant. McCann Patsy said, did you study art at a unit when you were younger? Or did you just start painting on your own? Both. Um, I did study art. I studied graphic design. And so I went to... A, a college called Kutztown. It's a state college here in Pennsylvania. It was a fabulous school. And I never took a painting class. And they had wonderful oil painting teachers. But I never knew that this was something I would do. And, you know, of course, I'm sure all of you would feel like that. And in an art school, there are just so many fun things to take that I couldn't fit it all in. <clears throat> One week out of the month. That's perfect. Perfect side gig, right? Um, so I did that. I went to Kutztown, did graphic, and I've had my own graphic design business for like 30 years. I think it's 30 years, really long time, maybe longer than that. But about 10 years ago, when my youngest child was about 10 years old, Isabel, who was just messaging me over here, um, I started getting up in the morning to paint because I really missed the hands-on part of that. When I started doing graphic design, um, it was all by hand. Like we did everything. I did illustration work. You know, all the things that we created were on the on um, a drawing board. And I missed creating things. So I got up and I wanted to loosen. I can paint water. Like I used to paint watercolors a lot. But I really wanted to loosen up my style. So I took up oil painting and never looked back. I love all kinds of art, though. That's what I do in my inspiring art group. I That's kind of my excuse to be able to play with everything. Like, you know, we do anything in there from freehand lettering to watercolor to acrylic activities and projects. to, And I love that. I love being able to do all things art. Like, I would love, like, they talk about there being, like, retreat, not retreats. What is the word for it? Like, residencies where you can go to places and they have all the art supplies and you just get to make stuff for days on end and you don't have to make dinner and you don't have to do laundry you just make art that doesn't that sound maybe that's what heaven will be when we all get there it very well could be or should be right Clean the edge off of that all right i need a sip of coffee Eight thirty-three. i'm doing well on time Can you tell about choosing a composition? Um, I would say that, my, look, like a composition, I've learned that more from my graphic design background than anything else. Um, and I play around with taking, I take tons of photos. Like I brought these home yesterday and I took lots and lots of photos until I got, um, so I want to go to a small brush. That's what I want to do, but I'm going to go to a much bigger brush because, see, this is the one I was using. This is just a little bit smaller because it's going to keep my brush strokes chunkier. But I always kind of um, lean toward feeling like I want to go um, to a smaller brush. But the bigger your brush is, the looser your painting's going to turn out. So even though you might feel afraid of it, just do it anyway looking where my shadow areas are. So I would say that this is kind of a graphic design style to it. Um, and you do want to think about, you know, eye flow. And I do consider, you know, the rule of thirds to make sure there's like something, you know, of of interest in, in third areas of the painting. But not, not, not completely, like just ish. So I always like to say I don't, do things like I don't follow hard and fast rules. I say it's good to um, learn all the rules and then forget about them. Do I paint Lance Karen? I wanted to paint a landscape this morning. I woke up wanting to do that. I want to do a great big landscape. Um, 
I do. I've been experimenting and trying to improve my uh, landscape painting abilities. I'll show you one. Like I've been playing with painting. I'm kind of dreamy like this. I'll show you one. Like that. It's. I'm doing it like with, um, of course I have paint on here when I, I put my um, um, big painting next to it. And then I always get paint on it. Here's another one that I was doing. So I have been playing with them. I would love to play big with them too. There's another one. So that's something I want to explore more this summer. And the landscapes are fun. Thank you. All right. I feel like I need to put up this little bit of color down here because... It looks uneven to me, and I keep focusing on that. Cloudscape's so fun, right? And when I go to uh, teach my workshop in France next year, we're definitely going to be doing some landscapes. So I've got to... Um, Work on that. Thank you, Sarah. Do I mount my panels? The the small ones? Yeah, you can mount them and then frame them. When I paint on paper, I um I frame them under glass, but when I paint like this, I don't. A lot of times I paint on raised panels, so they don't need to be mounted. But yes, I do mount the. You can mount these. I don't. I don't. I take them to my framer. I really don't like framing, at all. I have zero interest in doing that. I'm sure, it's more cost effective to do it yourself, but I'd rather be painting than than framing. I want to keep those fun pops of color, so I need to take my time and think about it. Spacers under glass, um, yes. Or I, or I, if it's on paper, I, I put a mat around it. I don't think I have one here. I have a couple, um, but they're packed for the art show. I take them along because I do have these little ones for sale there, and I um like for people to see how they can frame them if they buy small ones unframed. I do paint with acrylic sometimes. Um, oil is my kind of medium of choice just because that's what I um, show at art shows and things. So I need lots of oil paintings. I have trouble making enough of them. But I do enjoy acrylics also. I've been exploring them more. We did a few acrylic things in Inspiring Art together and that was really fun. And I find that I'm more playful, I think, with acrylics than I am with oils. I think because they dry so quickly, you know, you can start over more easily. Looking. I need to get 
get some greens in there soon too. I don't want to lose those spots. Okay, cat painting looser means less detail. Yeah, but then you have to decide on what details to leave in. That is the trick, is taking your time and doing that um, kind of more slow and gentle. Yeah, because it is, it's the trick of knowing what to leave in. looking more dimensional. I think I can do a few of my greens now. Um, and I'm doing well on time. Okay, get a little tricky, like making sure you hold on to those little chunks. A splash of purple tones. I do too. I love that. I don't want to cover them up. That one, why does that look so chunky? I think I need to make that darker in there. I'm afraid my paintbrush is too dirty to put a little bit of white in there. I don't like how thick this is here. That's better. Just that little bit made that um, a little quieter. I might need a smaller brush for these little bits that I'm doing. Getting in those details. mind it being a little chunky too. Were you taught to just make gentle touches with a large brush? Is this my own style? Hmm. That's a good question. I'm not sure because I say that I take, I've learned from a lot of different people and I take bits from everyone I learn and kind of added it up to kind of becoming my own style. And that process does take a little while, but it's certainly fun. So I'd say mm, that I think it is my own style. Yeah, you know how that is. It's like, you know, you learn from everybody. I always say each thing I do, I learn a little bit and add it to my toolkit of skills. Oh, yeah, that's getting good. I love that purple that's growing in there too. I have bits where this needs to, I have little bits of white still showing that I don't want. So you can carve in, like I carved out those shapes, but I can go back in and carve in with the other color again. Because that's definitely in shadow right there. So there's that. Oh, what did you say there? Um, she said, my friend Mandy, who moved to Philadelphia a couple years ago from Michigan, is coming to visit you at the show this weekend. Last year, you both took us 
selfie at the, oh, I do remember that. Oh, I hope she says hello to me again. I would love that. I do remember doing that. Okay, I need a little bit of a lighter, um, lighter for my um, box. Close to being happy with it. I just have to think about what other things need bits of of lightness or um, something. Oh, that helped out a little bit, didn't it? Thank you, Shelly. I think it's really dark in there. What else do you think it needs? Oh, oh, I know what it needs. It needs a little bit of, um, it needs a little bit of seeds on it just to give it oh, just a tiny bit of detail. Oh, and I see some white peeking. And my brushes are all rolling around over here. <laughs> a little white peeking in here. Right, do you think? Yes, I need a little bit of seedness going on. Just a touch, just to give it that real strawberry feel to it. Um, It doesn't need much, just a tiny bit to give it that feel. I'm sorry, did I miss anything? Go get some strawberries for lunch, yes. They're good for you. You can't eat too many strawberries, right? So, so good for you. There's a spot in the bottom left of the box to show that minty green edge. This, right in, whoop, right in there, I see what you're saying. Much. I think that's probably enough just to give that feel. All in the details are lack thereof and probably more lack thereof. Yep. All right, minty green. The tiny brush, I think so. Thank you, Gay. Yeah, it is fun to paint something different. I do feel like I've been painting a lot of flowers lately. Flowers and birds. Sometimes candy. I love doing that too. I love painting everything. But now I'll be thinking of flowers because of all the peony photos that I just took. Oh, that helped a little bit, didn't it? 
Now let me just do this little edge. What time? 8.50. We're doing okay on time. Now I'm going to get too much in the detail and I don't want to do that. So I might just be done because this is the point where I'll be kind of fussing with it and it doesn't really help anything. It just changes it oh so slightly. <clears throat> it's a hard balance to know when to stop. A little red in here. Oh, hydrangeas. Alan, do you have a lot of those planted? Now, you won't be able to take your flowers with you when you move, right? Or will you? Dig some of them up, some of your irises. Need I love all the dimensions with your shadows and highlights, and it's still loose. Yes, I need to keep it that way, don't I? No, wait, let me just do one more thing. I keep always wanting just one, one more shadow in here. Yep, I'm just moving paint around now. I need to well enough alone. Is that the right phrase? Leave well enough alone. I'm not calling it anything. All right, does it look dimensional? It looks dimensional. Okay. I think I'm going to stop because I don't want to I want to keep all that fun thing, all that fun in there. So I'm signing it. And I will show it to you up close. Let me pull this out light. So there's my reference. Thank you, Martha. Thanks, Sarah, my painting and my very simple palette. <clears throat> so I will save this and um, put it up on my um, blog and up on, um, <laughs> where do I put it? YouTube. You can tell I'm tired. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me. We will do this again next Wednesday. I would love to have you join me again. So it was fun. I hope you all have an amazing day and a great rest of your week. And come see me at Rittenhouse if you're in Philadelphia. I'd love to meet you. Goodbye. Have fun.